Hi folks, this is Max from um, RootGalaxyNote.com. So we're, today we're going to root our um, AT&T Galaxy Note i717. Um, this will work on also uh, the other versions of Telus, Bell, and Rogers. So first you're going to put it into uh, download mode. Um, so let's press uh, power the phone off. Or you can just hold down the volume volume down and the power button together until it reboots into download mode. I think this is the first time I'm doing it. Don't tell anybody. <coughs> um and then when you when you feel that vibration, let go of the power button, I think. And when it reboots. So hold down the volume down. There you go. So hold down the volume down and the power button until it resets and resets. Keep holding down the volume down and then let go of the power button. Whoops. Let's do that again. And then immediately hit up uh, volume up, right? And then connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. This is for Windows for now um, because it's using Odin, but I'll have another instruction set next week using uh, Heimdall. It's just pretty easy to do, but you can use Heimdall if you know how to use Heimdall. Let's go to our computer now. Now, before you start doing anything, you need to have the drivers installed. Um, for Windows, you can go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, and Device Manager for Windows 7. Uh, it should be similar in Vista and XP. If you don't know how, go Google how to open Device Manager for Windows, certain whatever you have. And then under Universal Serial Bus Controllers, you should have Samsung Mobile USB CDC Composite Device. If you don't, all you have to do is uh, download and install Samsung Keys. Install it. After it's installed, um, unplug and plug your Galaxy Note in, and it should recognize it. That's pretty much it. Once you've got, you see this, um, you're ready to go. Go download Galaxy Note root i717. Dot zip. Download it, unzip it, and you'll get uh, these three files, uh, Odin 3. Open this up, and say yes. And then um, it'll say Epic 4G, but don't, never mind, don't, don't worry, it's the same tool for all Samsung devices. Make sure you see the highlighted yellow, that means your driver's installed. Um, so it should highlight if you install Samsung keys. Hit PDA. And then go find the folder. Um, I put it in my root folder where I have all the rooting stuff here. Galaxy Note root i717. That folder. And choose PDA.tar. Um, and then hit start. And that will basically install a pre rooted kernel. And all you have to do is go to the market and install um, super user. And you should have root for now. Uh, we don't have a working clockwork mod recovery at the moment as of this video yet um, mm -hmm. but we should have that coming soon and it's rebooting 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 and uh, there you go we already got custom uh, animation I think you there's a directory you can put uh, custom mm -hmm. any animations under system slash slash systems uh, slash media directory you can put boot animation dot zip files there and change it to your favorite um, boot animation um, so let's actually leave the camera here since uh, I feel lazy here and uh, go to market download super user that's still initializing let me switch the camera angle real quick Fun. And uh, there we go. Let's go to the market. I've got 4G. And uh, let's go download Super User real quick. You don't need the cable anymore. So basically, what this kernel did is install um, root, but you still need Super User app um, to get Super User access. And uh, I think install it. And there's already ROMs out there, I think, but don't install it yet. You you probably want to wait till Clockwork Mod Recovery is around. 
and uh, that's probably the easiest way and you know the safest way to do it open and you can verify you have root uh, by hitting the menu button preferences and go to SU binary update and do update anyways and there you go if you get that request hit allow um, that means you have full root um, so congratulations um, pat yourself on the back that's uh, root for AT&T i717 Galaxy Note and also should work on Bell, Tullis and Rogers on Canada Canadians go Canada I'm not Canadian though <laughs> um, anyway that was a review of or not review of rooting the AT&T version I'll have a, a Heimdall version also for Mac and Linux and uh, that should you should be all good to go in my next video I'll show you how to get free Wi-Fi tethering I think alright see y'all later thanks bye bye